Police search for suspects in a shooting that left one person dead in the 1400 block of Nelson Avenue in Beloit to early Friday morning. Before we get to our top story, let's get to some developing news. Timothy Carter, the man accused of stabbing and killing Auburn teen Jason Jenkins at a Rockford Walmart, is indicted on a hate crime charge along with three counts of first degree murder. Prosecutors say Carter stabbed Jenkins March 24th at the Walmart on Northridge Drive. Jenkins was working at the store when the crime happened. Carter claims he was denied mental health care at two Rockford area facilities. He could face more than 60 years in prison and will be back in court April 9th. Now back to our top story. 23 News reporter Sydney Stavregan talks to Beloit residents who say Friday's shooting does not make them feel any less safe in their community. A senseless act of violence is how Beloit Chief of Police Andre Sales describes Friday morning's shooting, officially labeling it a homicide. It is not a Beloit problem, it is a national problem. Gun violence in Beloit is at the top of Police Chief Andre Sales' mind after the murder of an unidentified person early Friday morning. Police confirm a vehicle that crashed into a utility pole and caused a power outage is related to the homicide. Sales says without community help, cases like this often go unsolved. We're trying to get to the root cause of this issue here, but it's senseless. Uh, no one had to lose their life today, uh, and we want to make sure that we are doing the best that we can for that family uh, and that victim of this senseless act of violence. Beloit resident Danny Stone says he feels safe in the city despite occasional violent crime. He says the amount of good Beloit has to offer far outweighs the bad. Gun violence is definitely should be a, a, a topic of conversation because there's just better ways. It's just not worth throwing your whole life away for an anger outburst. This is the first Beloit homicide in 14 months since the shooting of a 29 year old woman in February 2023. Chief Sales says the negative stigma about Beloit expands far beyond city borders. A lot of people always try to say it's Beloit, it's Beloit. If you look around the country, it's a problem. It is not just a Beloit problem, it's a country problem. And we need to all work together to make sure that we take care of that issue. No suspects have been identified in connection with the murder. Sales says the community is not believed to be in danger. Thank you, Sydney. And anyone with information regarding this shooting is encouraged to contact the Beloit Police Department. The investigation is ongoing.